Hello everybody! Uh, we have missed the gorgeous start of this uh, video, um, but I want you to check this out. I'm not going to talk much at first, and then I'll do a longer intro. So, yeah. Has changed. To survive, we too must change. Have what it takes to survive away. Okay, so hello everybody. My name is Bones. We're reviewing Away. Uh, a very unique game, and it caught my attention because I, I've never seen anything like this. It is basically a sugar glider survival simulator with a uh, prototype gliding engine, which is what we're going to be checking out here today. There will be a link below to a few things, so let's talk about them. One, they have a Kickstarter going on. There will be a link below. I'm going to have a link, as usual, to the Steam page. But please, guys, uh, there will also be a uh, free prototype that you all can download to try this yourself. Uh, this company was nice enough to offer that uh, to folks right There's now to no try it. What oh. challenges lie ahead for this youngster? He'll need every ounce of strength he can muster if he's going to meet those challenges head on. Um, now, I apologize. I'm probably going to die a lot at first. So let me get a... Ooh. Uh, I'm going to say this. My inability to steer well is certainly oh god e. no indicator of oh there's a little freedom here for that too oh god my poor babies that's a certainly did and I, I'm not gonna lie to you it's probably gonna be a whole super real um so a I like this little dude I think he's cute For now, I will call him Benjamin. That is not a great name for Sugar Glider, I'm sure, but he is quite adorable. I mean, let's be honest here. Uh, you name me another game that starts with Sugar Glider. I'm waiting. I can't think of one either, but when you see how cool. Oh god! You got it, Benjamin! Don't give up, baby! Oh, you trees! No, Benjamin. I love you, Benjamin, I'm sorry. Um. Wow! Um, also, let's just take a moment here. I want to point out not just the uh, gliding prototype uh, system we're looking at here, but let's take a moment to look at the gorgeous detail, not just on the fur, um, on the scenery, though, man. The, the little moss, all of this. It looks incredible. Um, I'm a big fan of foresty things, swampy things, nature, I, I dig it. So the idea that right now I am a little trigger glider just chilling out, checking, oh god, I hope oh, I fall, oh, pensicle, 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 ah! no! Oh, my poor baby, look at his poor little face. Ah, uh, never before have I been more fascinated uh, with a game that was... Dude, I'm not gonna lie to you. I could get in and uh, get into this game. Um, yes, I'm dying a bunch, and yet I already cannot quit playing it. Oh god! So uh, the controls aren't quite as tricky as they seem. Uh, I just suck at driving games, and this is. If you need proof, look at any other driving game you can play, and you will note that. This is literally going to be super real, but uh, I don't care, man. I, I, I'm enjoying this. So we'll see how we're doing. So, some things to note. First of all, already this is going to win brownie points for me just because it is finally a animal-based survival game that is something new. You know, I've never seen anything related to sugar gliders like this, and I dig it. Oh, God! I know what I did wrong now. I think I did it because it's fair guys. Sorry, I'm kind of nervous and a little jittery tonight. Uh, a little, you know, 
I come on lately. If you notice, and I do apologize to our fans, I know we've been trying to get back in the swing of doing more constant let's plays. Uh, the reality of it is, guys, uh, I got a new job of very long hours, and they 1 to 8, um, or 1 to 10, um, every day that I work. So, that's new. Um, you know, it's not my first 8 hour job. 8 hour a day job, it's just the first 8 hour a day job I've had where it happens. If you think about your day, uh, 1 p.m. to 10 p.m. is a significant chunk of your day, you know. Um, so what I'm trying to do now, guys, and I'm not gonna lie to you, you're gonna see me passionate with a few more things here. I'm kind of pushing different styles of steering here to see what I feel feels right. So you'll notice here, it's a little jerky here and there for me. Um, and that is not this. It is me, because I like to kind of tweak and hone things as I play, try to maneuver around, um, and I am perfectly surprised to find that I'm able. Yeah, buddy! Oh, no geez. Okay, so, we got one chick like farther than we did before. Well, one orb. We go by orb, say. One orb farther than we did before. Um, I am curious, guys. Let's, let's check something out here. Uh, so you guys can see this. See, I wasn't even using dodge yet, so we're gonna have to start using dodge as well, huh? Um, again, um, I know I will be doing something for them if so, because anything in nature based, let's be honest here, zombies are played out, man. I'm not, oh god, and I'm sure already they're gonna be game, to game with things that are like, hey, thanks for that, but. This is something completely new that I've never experienced before in a game. And as somebody who grew up with Atari, anytime I get to experience that, that's always going to get a thumbs up right off the bat. Because, guys, if we're not using fresh and innovative ideas with games, then we're just going to get stuck in another, um, you know, I mean, I was around for the video game crash um, when it happened for the console crash. I'm sure some of you have heard of it. A lot of you from the 80s know it. You know, um, well, I'll tell you one thing, this company is definitely going to get their, uh, uh, beta testing out of the way just by watching my video. They'll probably be like, alright, you see everything he's doing as far as directions? Don't steer, like, any of anything he's, ooh, cool, of anything he's doing. Oh, good it's not even a real noise I should have made. Look at so that there is his little goddy. Alright, so I think I'm gonna have to big twice instead of doing the daggies. And I accidentally hit the wrong dodge and swam the straight or something. Uh, I would just like to apologize to check the gliders everywhere for my horrible steering of this elegant uh, gliding ability that they have. Um, not to mention the narration, the voice talent, the scene earlier that we saw in this where he was kind of square off against a what looked to be a tarantula of sorts. Very cool. Um, no, I have a feeling we're in for a real treat with this game because right now we are chasing a dragonfly for him to have some munchies. Um, but I have a feeling we're in for a very rich experience with a kind of interesting little fella here. Or chick, you know, whatever. Uh, or whatever. I'm not here to yell or, uh, or get yelled at, guys. I'll let you know what I'm saying here. I feel like this little character, this little uh, animal that everybody generally agrees is cute. Um, this is a great game and opportunity to go into a world uh, that you don't normally even really think of, you know, in your day. Unless you're an animal conservation list, and if you are, thank you. Because we certainly need you guys. I feel like nature um, has given us some amazing gifts, and it's kind of time we stop being dicks to nature, guys. So, that's not me trying to be, you know, for some reason, like, oh, what's nature ever done for you? Uh, we live in it, so, there's that, jerks. But, guys, look at all the ziggins and zaggins and old schnikes. Can I do it? Can I do it? 
Literally the best drive I've ever had in the game. I know some of you are gonna like. Oh, <laughs> I said it. I uh, said it. <sighs> Why well, I have to say it? No nope, doubt. Nope. So, so I'm gonna take a look here one last time. Um. Things going on here. Um, but anyways. Oh, check them out. All I did was hit that, and now we got a little bone fighter. So now we're gonna test them out too, guys. Let's do that, shall we? Oh, he's cute. So I feel like less is more when it comes to the steering buttons and keep pressing them too far. I feel like by pressing them a little, uh, a little less, I would probably do, be doing better. But he is cute with the him. I like him. So we're going to be doing some stupid batteries. So see, he, I feel like, so naturally, that's where we're at. With the gliding ability, the steering. I am going to try a new thing here. Because I'm going to call passive steering. So I'm going to barely tap. Uh, barely tap here. That one I tap too much. Okay, I think I'm getting uh, a better idea of what I need to do here. And what I think this really is, is that I'm making this much harder than it needs to be to steer. I think he is. I'm going to also unlock a few achievements, which is awesome too. But I think what's really going on here is that I'm way overshooting my steering for him, her, it. So we are going to try just doing a full draw, a little modest steering. And when I do that, I'm noticing that when I do that, so far I've been, Jesus, doing slight, oh god, slightly better, ugh, how much. Now, um, I don't know. Anyways, so yeah, so eventually when I get my hours straightened out a little more, you will see a lot more because you've teased before. Uh, so I might as well just tell you guys, um, we have some good shorts that we're going to start doing. I've said a billion times. Uh, you've seen a ton of your boy bones, but Gary needs to be making a comeback. Not to mention, this is heavily requested by a lot of you. Whew, I gotta say, that was uh, pretty intense, man. <sighs> what? Whew. I'd also like to point out my beautiful... These are pugs. Uh, and this was a gift from my daughter, who knows that I, uh, think pugs are awesome. I don't own a pug right now. I did, uh, previously, though. We had a pug that we looked after the poor little fella. You know, it was his time, but, uh, yeah. Pugs are incredible. I like a lot of animals. I don't know why. There was a little hilarity there that I hit that checkpoint from his poor little broken body there. That's sort of horrific, I should have laughed. Sorry, nature. Also, uh, can we just take a minute here to appreciate the fact that our little friend uh, is obviously pretty well adapted. I mean, when you think about a sugar glider gliding, this is kind of a interesting feat, isn't it, guys? Because, really. All right, so, that time, okay, so. One thing I'm doing here is trying to learn different ways to steer on these curves. So for me, one thing I'm not doing enough is that the getting is nice and breezy here for me. But I definitely need to make a hard pull uh, after that. Like right here, that first one on both levels has been a kind of default. And then I got a little dive. 
see if I would use my. Uh, yeah. I just kind of need to learn these uh, more. But, uh, dude, I am not giving up. Here, we're getting you guys. I'm getting you. Ooh, so, yeah, we're gonna use. Uh, we use Jerry. Our idea right now, and we'd like a little feedback from y'all if you don't mind, is a big talk show for Gary. Um, we had an idea to sort of like go with a show that was so off the wall. Um, we'll say it's a parody of a horribly crazy talk show people. Not talk show, but we'll just say personalities, you know. So imagine a puppet who had all these neuroses and uh, all of a sudden a show, a talk show of sorts where he talked radio to you. Um, we like the idea of doing sort of what if the um, lovely, crazy, over-the-top articles from National Enquirer, you know, like, I saw Barefoot and now we're best friends. Yeah, you know, all this crazy stuff. What if that became a show. Oh! Snikey, so that was almost there. It's probably reference, guys. Um, so that was an idea, and I thought it would be cool to have a sort of... trying to decide how I want the set for that to look, and uh, that'll probably be one way we use him. Um, we were doing for a while a segment called Puppets React, but I'll be honest, you're a little underwhelmed by the numbers, and if you're asking why that's not something we do more, hope that and let's review get okay, but um, not as good as we hoped. Um, so a lot of those things get put in the back burner, the channel you know, is constantly evolving. Um, we have an idea for a second channel, but we are holding off. You know, I mean, we've been doing this now for like a while. Um, I feel like we have a decent library of radio videos. Uh, I actually forgot I had as many as I do. You know we have over 840 Let's Plays. Quite a few. Alright, so uh, I think I'm starting to get the hang of this level. We're going all the way through this puppy. I'm, I am uh, hooked. Um, now, as you notice, there is a degree of what I would call difficulty. I do wish maybe we could hit something in nature that would give us like a checkpoint. So I didn't have to start all the way from the beginning, but at the same point, this is basically a demo, so I'm sure there's a lot that's going to be tweaked, fixed. You know, I mean, I don't judge any of this stuff going right here. This is pretty smooth, you know what I mean? For what it is, man, it's, it's smooth. If this is an early demo, and it's already this polished graphically, musically, there's no skipping uh, in the sound. Um, let's take a moment to appreciate the water reflections, his little tiny foot wobble, see as the wind hits his little paws. Um, some really cool stuff going on here in the... Oh god, that's so cool. Alright, and uh, let's be honest again. I do, man. I feel like there is some... Yes! Like there is some very exciting stuff going on here this game. Oh, oh god. I have totally fit that. I'm a stunt glider. <laughs> I like stunt glider, guys. Never have I been more proud to crash so much in a game. Oh, but yeah, so uh, right now it is probably 11 p.m. Uh, ironically, 11 15 a.m. is when I will have to leave. Uh, oh, God. I have no idea what I was doing. Before our little friend, I'm so sorry, guy. Um, I do know that I have a feeling there are probably some Easter eggs in this puppy here. Um, but yeah, so if you like what you see here, guys, uh, try and do a little support for these fine folks on Kickstarter just because games like this. The more we as, as gamers and as people who enjoy nature and, you know, even if you don't enjoy nature but you like unique games, still check us out, man, and, you know, every little bit helps, but by supporting developers like this who are doing something new, I mean, this is literally a prototype fighting engine, so, I mean, the 
delicate process of trying to figure some of this stuff out. I can't even imagine. Um, I tried to program when I was a bit younger, and let me tell you, it's nerve-wracking. Um, I made no great titles or anything. I made a few small things for me and my friends to laugh at, but that's about it, really. I, you know, there's no big claim to fame that I have there with that, so. Um, I always appreciate a piece of coding. Um, and let me tell you, this is airtight when it comes down to the execution of making sure there are any myths of bugs, flaws, um, the only flaw is that I am awful at steering. Um, and honestly, I think it's, I just get a little too, you know, jerky with the steering, I get a little too, uh, reacting too quickly. I, it's probably a much smoother experience for somebody who is not a bundle of nerves right now playing this. Um, mm. But I will say it's oddly calming at the same point, even though it's nervous because I don't want this poor little fella to keep biting it. Jesus, that's a rough one, isn't it, guys? Um, I do think, too, <laughs> let's just take a moment to appreciate the fine ragdoll system going on for this little fella. Like, it really makes you feel, uh, uh, I'm not gonna lie, I, I feel almost ashamed that, frankly, that I have wounded so many poor little sugar ladder fellas in this, you know? I mean, I, like, sorry guys. Like, I literally feel like I owe a sugar glider conservation money at this point. Just like, I'm sorry, you're a little majestic beasties. I mean, look at that. <sighs> Poor thing. If this was NASCAR, I would have probably broke half the cars on the track, you know? To be honest here. Um, no, I am legendary for being the worst driver in any game ever. In Mario Kart, I'm the only person that could crash my kart to Mario Kart. I didn't need anybody else to try and stop me from winning. I stopped me from winning. Um, you know, Saints Row, uh, I can't even tell you the number of times that I would totally demolish vehicles just from my horrible steering. Um, and really, if it used to crack up, and it did, it became a funny joke, so yeah. So there is certainly that. Um, but no, I mean, I think, oh, god, that was a rough one. Knocked that little fella into a different area from there, wow. I'm gonna keep going. So... Uh, I am really excited to see what the future development of uh, this title brings guys. Um, you know, this is pretty innovative, and I'll be honest, oh, dude, I really don't know that much about sugar gliders. I know quite a bit about different animals in zoology, but this fella is not one I know a lot about. I know that they are not something that everybody in the world should run out and try and own in captivity. Um, I also know that for people who train them, to work with them, I do know I've always heard that you cannot keep one in, without a mate, or um, not necessarily mate, but that they need more than one of them, they're a social animal. Um, hermit crabs are as well, did you guys know that? It's true. Now the term for hermit crab is a land crab, and usually they do better with three or four of them at a time, at least three. Um, another animal that you may not know that should always be bought not alone is a guinea pig. Yes, the simple guinea pig. Um, it's true. I actually had a guinea pig gifted to me when I was younger. The sweetest day by my mother and, uh, thought it would be a neat pet. Uh, and she was adorable, my guinea pig. Um, we did not know it, but she was pregnant at the time, as I learned. That's what I also learned. Another animal fact. I think that's what we're going to do here. Is some animal facts here that I know. Feel free to correct me if any of these are outdated. I'm probably a little older than some of you, so I apologize. Not necessarily for being older than you, but for not knowing uh, up-to-date information. But uh, I know that guinea pigs are born with their eyes open, their fur has already grown up, and their permanent and I mean, they come out ready to eat whatever the mom is eating. So, uh, yeah. Um, I 
And yes, it is true that they purr, which I think is adorable. Thank you. I used to like to find it. She was a, she was a sweet little thing. She was very nice. Um, but anyway, so when I, we, it was time for her little babies to leave because they decided that uh, they're going to be able to try to be too social. It's a little cage ruckus. Um, we had a, uh, we donated them, and uh, my guinea pig got very sad after that. Um, just, you know, lonely. Um, and then luckily, a neighbor, um, the daughter of one of my mom's friends, had already, God, yes, had already had. Come on, we got it. We can do this, dude. We can do this. We can... <sighs> Guys, I'm so effing. Oh, oh, oh. Yes, 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 yes. Please, 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 please let me get this. Please, please let me get this. I'm so close, man. Let me get it. Come on, bones, baby, come on. Tell me I suffer right now, guys. I'm gonna try it one more time, one more time. I'll be on the video. Um but yeah, so after uh, our neighbor's daughter took the guinea pig and moved it in with the one she had, um, my guinea pig perked back up. So they are indeed social animals. Um, so if you are actually ever thinking of getting an exotic animal that is legal in your state and not endangered, not, you know, something that's going to be thrown on, please do yourself a favor on the animal and please check and make sure that they do not have any special need um, special things that you need to do for them, and if they do, please do that. Um, it is less humane to have an animal who needs to be social and not let it be social just because you're not sure if you can afford one, or for example, um, I used to see a lot of people who would try to own a saltwater fish and put it in a freshwater tank, and I cannot tell you how much it used to irk me to the point where I actually got fired for not selling them uh, those kinds of fish to people, but to me it was like, I'm not going to sell it for you. Yes! Don't make you look at that! Oh, guys, we did it! I'm kind of getting pumped, man. So, before we go further, this is going to be my last uh, attempt at this uh, for now. Um, but I will say this. Please, if you like what you're saying, Click below to download your own uh, copy of this prototype. The company has it for uh, free right now on their website. That's below for you guys. The Steam page definitely have this to your wish list so that you can pick up the full when it comes out. Um, that is below along with their Kickstarter. So check this game out, guys. So let's do this. Holy cow. Um, so, if you're playing this, a few things I want to note. Very addictive. Um, this is the sort of thing where you actually want to try, and I'm gonna be honest with you. Part of the reason I want to. What? What do you want more? What do you want more? Is uh, for the. Uh, it's cool to see the little thing succeed, and two, um, I'm kind of my eyes are going all over because the scenery is gorgeous, and I want to see what happens next. You know what I mean? I want to see where our little friend goes. Um, you know, it's, it's a good, a sign of a good game when you care about that stuff. We'll do one more. Um, and I'm not gonna lie, it's partially because Holy Cow is this, a catchy game. So far, this has basically been, um, a, probably one of the most responsive flight engines I've seen. Um, and for this not to come from a massive AAA company, uh, I gotta say, man, bravo, guys, this is... Holy cow, my nerves. Oh, that was rough. 
So yes, please check this game out. All the stuff you need to know, click the links below. Um, subscribe if you haven't. Um, comment, give us a like, whatever you want to do. I am Bones. You guys have a great day. Holy sugar gliders, this game is awesome. And uh, we're out. You guys have a great day.